Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial and today we are going to make this kind of glitch text effect or glitch log animation in Adobe After Effects. So before starting this tutorial, if you are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe it. So here you can see that I have already created this animation, now I am going to show you how to make this. So here I am going to create a new project and rename it to main. I am going with 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and Duration I'm going to choose 7 or 8 second. Now let's create a new text but you are free to use your own logo. So here I'm going to type my text. Select all of this text and make sure that they are in center. And let's pre-compose them. Rename it to text holder, but here you can use your logo as well. Now let's create another new solid and rename it to glitch. Go to effect in preset and search for fractal noise. Apply it, change fractal type to max and noise type to block. Contrast 180, brightness minus 25, and let's go to transform and check this uniform scaling, make it 6000. Now go to evolution, press Alt and red bracket key, type expression time star 1000. So now you find something like this. So now go to select this and go to effect and preset and search for linear wipe. Apply it. Go to around 1 second and 15 frame. Create a keyframe here. Now forward something like this point and make it 100%. Now select this and pre-compose, rename it to glitch map. Select mop all attribute into the new composition then hit ok. Now you can turn off this, go to new and create a new adjustment layer. Rename it to glitch control. Select this, go to effect and preset and search for displacement map. Apply it. Now change this map layer to glitch map and here you can find something like this kind of text effect now set it max vertical displacement to 0 and make it something like 130 go to at the beginning create a keyframe vertical map and horizontal map forward something like this point and make it like this press u and select all of this keyframe right click on your mouse select toggle hold keyframes now forward something like this point let's change it randomly change your glitch effect like this So here you will find something like this kind of effect. Close it. Now select all of this, right click, pick compose and rename it to glitch effect. Select move all attribute in the new composition then hit ok. Now right click, new, new solid and rename it BG for background and change its color something like this. Hit ok. Place it below all of this and select this. Go to effect and preset and search for shift channel. Turn off this, take blue from to fall off and green to fall off. Select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate and keep it green and change red to fall off. Again Ctrl D. 
print to fall off and blow on so you'll find something like this select this two layer and go to mode change it to screen if you don't find this mode then press f4 to switch between okay now go to beginning forward one frame and drag this to here select this and one frame so now you'll find something like this kind of rgb glitch effect okay now right click on the mouse go to new new adjustment layer go to effect and preset and search for optic compensations and increase this something like this kind of effect and check this reverse lens distress tool and make it something like this create a keyframe here go to something like this point make it zero select this press u and bring this keyframe to here okay glitch effect is complete now let's add our sound effect here so select your glitch sound effect and drag them to after effects drag it to below all of this layer now let's see the preview so our animation is complete so hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video thank you so much for watching and comment down what you want in my next video